I have a rug dealer. He's in Harlem, and I go to his apartment. And he, he deals me rugs in his apartment hallway. I'm Cleo Wade. I am an artist and a poet. And you are in my East Village apartment in New York City. Everything about my apartment was created with the intention of people being able to sit and gather and talk or feel like they're taking a break from New York City. I think to just create spaces just for what nourishes you. And for me, it's knowing that at any given time, there's like someone knocking at the door. The thing about working where you live is that you have to kind of get rid of all the temptation that like could lead you into a, like a siesta. I don't want to ever um, feel too tempted to like crawl back into bed. So I know that as long as it's made, I probably won't get back in there. I kind of like to have the spiritual text around me all the time, just in case you need a little boost. The Bhagavad Gita, um, 100 Years of Solitude. Which I deeply believe in rituals. I sage my apartment every single day. I just make sure to kind of like cleanse the energy and set your intentions for what you want to create. Um, Shonda Rhimes' book, The Year of Yes, is really awesome. At home with you, as strangers, we become friends. I sigh, ain't that what life is all about? This is my writing room. My best friend, Shade Lithcott, gave me these when I signed my book deal. They're saint candles, but she had saint candles made of my two favorite authors and um, my grandma. And so it was a James Baldwin candle, and an Alice Walker candle, and then Cleo is my grandmother. The Feminist Mystique, The Alchemy of Possibilities, Sextrology. Um, for me, I think that when you actually want to be in your home more than you want to be kind of a nomad floating around, I think that's when you know you've found your home. We are in the living room, which is very sultry. I also have a vintage dealer. I like a lot of dealers that are all legal. Beginner's French. It's really beneficial for me to have like rooms where I do really specific things. So like I have the desk that I write love poems. I have the space where I write. Everything in our house tells a story at the end of the day. So I think a lot of the times those are aligned with what stories we need to hear or be reminded of. Uh, Tonka by Sonia Sanchez. Autumn, a bonfire of leaves. Morning peels us towards pomegranate festivals. And in the evening, I bring you soup, cooled by my laughter. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> and I'm really losing my voice, so.